it's me, Lisa, and today we're going to be talking about how scaling works. And scaling is a very complicated and lengthy process, but I'm going to try my best to explain the scaling concept for you guys. So why do we have scaling? Because not all subjects are equal. The easiest comparison to make would be further and specialist maths. We all know that specialist maths is supposed to be the most advanced maths out there. So when a student achieves a study score of 40 in further and a student achieves a study score of the same 40 in specialist maths, then it doesn't really seem that fair, does it? So scaling comes after your raw study score in order to establish a fair comparison across all the VC subjects regardless of what subjects you take. One student could be studying literature, Latin, French, specialist in comparison to another student who's studying English, further, agricultural and horticultural studies, which apparently is a VC subject that I never knew existed until I was trying to find out information about scaling and then I came across this subject. So if you do this subject, um, let me know what it's like and if it's any good. So it definitely wouldn't be fair and no offense to anyone who's studying English, which is the, it's the subject that I tutor in anyway, further um, agricultural and horticultural studies or food tech. I just chose subjects that scaled down. Once scaling occurs, that means that we can finally compare the student who achieved the 40 study score in further and the 40 study score in specialist maths. This helps to ensure that students do subjects that they actually enjoy rather than choosing subjects that all just scale up. This means that if you're not a strong math student, then it's not wise for you to choose specialist maths. And I think it's such a great thing that there is scaling because it really encourages students just to do the subjects that they like. So how do we know what gets scaled up and what gets scaled down? Generally, if competition is high, then a subject will be scaled up. And if the competition's low, then the subject will get scaled down. Okay, so what do I mean? Basically, if you're doing chemistry in a particular year level, and the average for chemistry is a study score of 30. And yet in comparison, all the students who studied chemistry with you achieved an average of 35 as a study score for all the other subjects, including chemistry. It means that these students are typically stronger students than average and that perhaps chemistry was just that little bit harder. So scaling wise, chemistry might get bumped up to 34, for example, and it's the same going the other way as well. So let's say if you are studying geography and a lot of people are getting 30s as study score for geography, but for all the other subjects, they're getting less than that. They're getting 28s, 25s. Well, then it's a question of, oh, maybe geography is a little bit easier in comparison to other subjects. So therefore we will push geography down to 28. So if you get a study score, a raw study score of 30 in geography, it will go down to 28 as your final mark. Just as a quick disclaimer, these aren't, you know, exact um, scaling numbers. If you wanted to check it out, then go check it out for whichever years you're looking for. Um, but I'm just sort of yeah, just making it up to explain. But most importantly, don't choose a subject just because it scales well. There's no point choosing a subject that you're just gonna struggle with for the full two years and then just get a mediocre mark even after scaling because it's just been such a struggle. And it won't guarantee you a high ATA. And this is something that I talk about in my previous video. So if you wanna check it out, definitely go ahead. And yeah, that's pretty much a really quick sum up of what scaling is and what it means. Hopefully I've answered some basic questions on your end, but if you've got any more, please feel free to comment below. Um, I'm more than happy to answer you guys. And please thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, just to let me know that what I'm doing is on the right track and that I should be doing more of these for you guys. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.